Yo, it's your boy Alex CHFC, Mr. Box Office TV. And if you don't know, you need to get to know. Talk, listen, not judge. And let's be honest. Those are the words of something that is very, very, is frowned upon, but also is important. Because this video is to do with the interview with Deli Ali on the overlap with Gary Neville. The reason why I'm bringing up and doing this video is some of the stuff that Deli Ali's spoken about, I feel is really important. It shows a message that it's important that we are honest with each other, we listen to each other, but also we are allowed to talk to each other as well. Because it's always important to talk. And as I see, for, as you saw from the, the interview with Gary Neville, there was a lot of things there that Deli Ali was going through and went through his childhood and that affected him during his growing up. And as I say, with trauma and heartache, it's something that unfortunately you've got to learn to live with. And that's something that Mr. Box Office, well, Alex, would understand. The thing is, when you look at some of the things that he went through and the, the bravery he went through of actually going and being honest to Gary Neville, you start to realise that there is a reason why you can't judge people. Because when you don't know the situation, and if you haven't had that conversation with that person, you can't judge them from what you see. You might see smile, but behind that smile, there is always a story. And that's why it's important to listen as well. Because when you go through some of the points that he went through in that interview, it's quite interesting when you hear some of the stuff he says. He says, most of, he says that he was taking sleeping pills to try and forget the past. Even though those sleeping pills were there to try and help him get through adrenaline and what the doctor recommended he ended up doing it and getting getting affected by it he also goes on about the dependency on those sleeping pills because he wanted to carry on forget but also just show to the world that he's a strong boy he talks about his past he talks about when he was a child the, the hard Truth of what he said about what his childhood was like, especially when he was six years old, when he told him about his mum's friend molesting him. We also hear about that when he went through with the drugs, also when he got disciplined in Africa. We also heard about when he was thrown over a bridge by another estate guy, by another guy at the estate. All this trauma and the relationship with his biological mum and then being adopted, all this burnt up inside. And this is why it's important that we all listen to each other, but also we let people express and talk to each other, but don't judge and let them be honest. Because that's the whole point of being a human. Unfortunately, the feelings of um, what you see in the past and what you've, you've gone through before, it always affects. And that's why mental health is not very good at the moment in the community at the moment. And that's why it's always important to listen and not judge. And that's it. Some of the stuff that he mentioned about throughout his career, he had the manager of Pochettino who he brought, got, got a good relationship with, 
who he was able to express himself and also build up a good relationship with. He was always holding it back because he didn't want to be judged by the public. He was already judged already by the media. But he felt that he didn't have that person that he could actually express himself and that was it. So, looking back on what he just said, he said that he went to America after the turkey run and he, he got injured. He went to rehab and then he realised that was him being able to deal, and not well, learn how to deal with the trauma that he went through and understand the trauma that he went through when he was younger and throughout his, throughout his life. The thing that's important and great to see is that this could have a, a, a turning point for Deli Ali. For now, he's now, from the man that wasn't enjoying his football, is now back wanting to fight back and want to love, love, his football, um, love playing football again. Unfortunately for others that are not, stories that are not told, unfortunately, doesn't have a happy ending, unfortunately. As you see, there's our, there are people out there that, unfortunately, because they weren't able to speak and because they keep their demons inside, you never see them again. And you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep it PG, but I said I was going to be honest on this... Uh, uh, I should have warned that this was going to be an honest video. So it's, 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 it's in message I'm trying to say today in this video is that it's important to be honest, to talk, to listen and to not judge. This is Mr. Box Office, the main event, the Professor of Truth and Entertainment. And this is Mr. Box Office being honest and talking truth. I can read from what I see, from what I saw from Deli Ali. I can understand that. Understand what he said most of that interview with Gary Neville and I, I, I applaud Gary Neville for what he did during that interview, listening to him and not being judgmental. So I would say, for me, it just tells you a, a, a very important thing that we just have to be, listen and not judge. And that's it. Please like and subscribe. And as always, Mr. Bots Office is out.